It's indeed a pleasure to have you join us once again on your intensive and informative program, Economy Today. Economy Today gives you an update on the contributions of well-meaning Nigerians and various sectors to the growth and development of the Nigeria's economy. I am Zainab Obitin. In continuation of our special report on Project 100 initiative, we'll bring to you an exclusive interview we had with the chief executive of the beneficiary companies. On the lineup is Dr. O.J. Martins, the managing director and chief executive of Jomasin Resources Limited. Chukuma Emeze is the Managing Director and Chief Executive of Castor Global Resources Limited, as well as Bayo Adewoyi, the Managing Director and Chief Executive of Bitu Oil and Gas Project Limited. It promises to be quite engaging, so don't go away. Jomasin Resources Limited is one of the top most leading servicing company in the oil and gas industry. Multiplying her tentacle of services from marine services, construction to engineering, environmental consultancy, dredging, security escorts, maintenance of wellhead, among others. Let's meet Obeya Martins, the dynamic and tenacious managing director. My organization is Joe Marston Resources Limited. It's an indigenous company registered under Nigerian laws. We're into oil and gas business. We started from 1995 as a, a small company called Joe Marston Nigeria Enterprises before we metamorphosed into Joe Marston Resources Limited. We became a limited company in 2001. And ever since we became a limited company, or before then, we engage into marine logistics, construction of hospitals, healthcare, community development projects, and in the oil and gas industry. Our mission is to become a major player, a leading major player in the oil industry in the Niger Delta. As a service provider to major oil exploration companies, which include Chevron, Shell, Ajib, the company ensures that there is deliberate utilization of Nigerian human and capital resources and services in the oil and gas sector. We don't have shabby way of doing things. We do things straight. If it is not obtainable anywhere in the world, then it's not obtainable in Jomasin. Jomasin doesn't do any other different thing than what is laid down. The rules that are laid down for best practices, that's what we follow. So if you engage us to do something, you are rest assured that you will get the best. We try to see that we provide the best for our um, customers. Determined to retain their valued clients and guarantee capital inflow into Nigerian economy, the company ensures that staff are well trained to function maximally. In Jumasin, we are trying to provide enabling environment, train young guys who are coming to us. We have open door policies. Whatever we no do, we can do better. We do it and open to everybody. Training, in-house training, astronaut training. If you're an engineer working with Joe Massin, we give you all the necessary things back in, the company back in, for training abroad, maybe uh, intensive trainings, sideways or whatever. Any training we've got to know that is, we send people for training. But we need more, because even if you want to train somebody, it's still money. It's still money, send money to for training. So, Project 100, we are appealing. We know, and uh, from information we are told, that they will give us capacity training for our staff. So, which is a welcome development. The seasoned Arrowhead bears his mind on his expectation from the Project 100. As a beneficiary of Project 100, from the day we inaugurated, or say to say, uh, kick off, my expectations are very high. Uh, from the day we were uh, indoctrinated, like I said, we are expected to be given a full assistance in the area of financing. Because most projects, those that are very high volumes, uh, right now we are having shortages of 
manpower because we don't have all the capacity to employ the needed youths, those whom we can pay to provide services. So Project 100, as the, in fact, is coming at the right time. If it is well guided and the way the mini, Honorable Minister gave to us information, then we can go to places and I'm expecting them that they should take us to the level they want us to, to be so that we can be a major player, indigenous player in this country. With this opportunity to demonstrate the capacity of an indigenous company, he explains that the future is very bright. The sky is even the beginning. With Project 100, I'm suspecting and I'm believing that my company, my organization will go very far. Because as an MD of this organization, I have a vision. And this Project 100 is just keying into my vision. They are coming as external bodies that are, will help, aid, and facilitate my organization. So I'm seeing my company going very far with this project. As a result of focus, determination, and hard work, he recently got an award for his dedication to service. I was given an honorary doctorate degree award in uh, University of uh, Europe, American University, Lume, Togo. I attribute it to God and to my family and above all to the people of Niger Delta, particularly Bayelsans, mostly to the youths. I want them to emulate the good virtues of life. Uh, I always look after my elders who have good virtues. People like Professor Wondo in my university days in Port Harcourt, he always tell me, OJ, what are you up to? He always give me a citation in uh, philosophy, existentialist theory. If you are existing and you are not felt in the society, it's like you are not existing. So based on those theories, based on those knowledge I acquired in the university days, whatever I get, I work towards it. It's an honor I achieved through meritorious work, hard work. I'm always there, anytime, any day, traveling around, not just for enjoyment or whatever, but for hard work. In the oil and gas industry, it's a huge industry, we have not even achieved anything. So this doctorate degree award is, I give thanks to God, and it's a kind of straightening me, encouraging me to do more. I equally emulate the Niger Delta youth to actually take cognizance of their existence by identifying what to do to help society. Given an enabling environment, Jomason Resources Limited is poised to efficiently and effectively meet clients' needs. Castle Global Resources Limited is a 100% indigenous Nigerian company with a long service experience in EPIC, an acronym for Engineering, Procurement, Installation and Construction Services. Let's meet Chukuma Emezie, the Managing Director and Chief Executive. We got incorporated on 27th of July. Um, 2005, but we started operations on the uh, 1st of February 2007, and uh, since then there hasn't been a, a going back for us. Uh, we are basically currently doing uh, inspection, repair, maintenance, revamp, um, asset integrity management uh, for the IOCs in the, in the offshore facilities. Uh, main area of expertise is always a uh, topside offshore and um, swamp area and land as well. It's been a, it's been a, a journey, um, well, I, I would say a fruitful journey. Um, we have had our own ups and downs. We have had our drying moments. But um, I can say by and large, it's a good venture. Having been in existence for over a decade, 
The company ensures that it renders services that meet and supports clients' expectations. We offer a, 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 an array of services that uh, we have actually specialized ourselves in uh, delivering these services timely and with quality. Um, we have um, improved services um, in the world of um, um, our rope access technology that we have improved significantly. We are a leading uh, rope access company. Uh, we are introducing new, new bouquet. Um, we are introducing new services in our bouquet of services. We have uh, currently improved on our flange management services, our talking system and our um, uh, joint, um, uh, joint uh, management uh, services. Uh, we have also, um, we are also creating our capabilities in the way of uh, handling um, complex uh, duplex steel uh, materials. In, in the adjoining that is worthy of complex steel duplex materials um, and um, so far we, we have achieved to handle dissimilar metals, joining of dissimilar metals in our facility here. Our duplex steel uh, fabrication yard is uh, under construction and hopefully by uh, before the year ends it will be commissioned and we will be ready to start these specialized services. A company like ours, we are almost we are, we are running on 100% Nigerian manpower. Are you getting me? And and when you are running on this sort of manpower, they keep improving you um, to be able to take on a uh, bigger and uh, and more and become more adventurous. As a true Nigerian and an innovative operator in the oil and gas industry, he speaks on the Project 100 initiative and his expectations. One thing we, we pride ourselves in Castro Global is our ability to uh, comply. Um, our compliance system here, our compliance monitoring system here is, um, is effective, it's, it's managed by a lady and uh, she's on top of it. Um, we try as much as possible to comply with every rule, every policy that is disseminated uh, in the oil and gas industry. Um, that's one thing that, that we will say that must have pushed us forward and must have given us the edge to be able to have been selected as one of the Project 100 uh, beneficiaries. We were at Abuja in the on inauguration of the, of the Project 100 and um, we heard the government on, on almost the highest level. That was the Minister of State that was there and uh, for petroleum and we, we, we understand he spoke on behalf of the President. So we, uh, what we heard from them, um, we elated that such, um, such a program is coming up in the Nigerian oil and gas industry. It's the first of its kind. Um, uh, they have assured us on, um, on uh, map capacity development, which is actually the biggest challenge we have uh, currently in the industry and uh, specifically in Castro Global Resources in that they have assured of adequate training, I get to me. They have assured us of um, um, improvement um, to, to the market, um, improvement of access to the market. Uh, both access to suppliers and access to other companies that uh, can uh, aid us in uh, technology transfer. Um, they have um, highlighted the fact that uh, we can get a uh, soft loan on uh, reduced interest rate. So those are the things that uh, should make us uh, happy and uh, elated and joyful. Expectedly, therefore, the company contributes in every way possible to the growth and development of the team for optimal service delivery in the area of capacity building and human development. Within ourselves, uh, we know a couple of uh, people that we have been able to develop in-house even before we came to this project 100 level. Uh, we know a couple of people that we have been able to train, a couple of people who have gone through the Castro Global company and we, we know how they are performing wherever they are. Um, so in terms of um, in terms of exposure of our personnel to the to proper work ethics, we have been able to do that. So in in, in terms of uh, capacity building, again, we have been able to pump in our own fair share into the oil and gas market of uh, Nigeria. Taking cognizance of the peculiarity of the operating environment, 
corporate social responsibility is a tax that must be done to achieve efficient service delivery. For us, uh, we won't say it has been a, bad, a pretty bad experience. We, we effectively have managed the, the, uh, the communities where we do business. Um, we have interacted with them properly. We have, um, in a way, tried to live up to our corporate social responsibility. Uh, a couple of times uh, we've had to commit towards education on some of them. We have to commit towards uh, development, youth development in some areas. Uh, we have to commit uh, towards uh, infrastructure in some areas. So basically, it's uh, something that we have tried to work with each community where we are in uh, Kwaibom, in Eke, where we are working. We have um, a large number of uh, the community uh, skilled manpower with us there. Um, quite a number of our personnel here uh, come from the Niger Delta. Uh, so in fact, I can say almost about 60% of our personnel here are from the Niger Delta. So when you talk of the, even the skilled labor and the unskilled labor, you're almost talking about about 70-75% being from the Niger Delta area. So we have engaged with the communities with our immediate environment so that we can have um, a very peaceful operation. Castle Global Resources Limited making positive impact in the oil and gas industry. developments in the oil and gas industry have shown that there are deliberate efforts to showcase the hidden talents of the indigenous operators to enable them compete favorably in the black oil business. The Project 100 was flagged off to act as a foundation for the nation's economic turnaround. B2 Oil and Gas Project Limited is one company that knows its onions and so qualified for the Project 100 program. Bio Adewe is the tenacious and dynamic managing director. Bitoil and Gas Project Limited is an indigenous con uh, company registered under the law of this our beloved country, Nigeria, in 2000, in year 2000, August 22. Uh, Bitoil and Gas uh, is purely, like what I say, an indigenous con uh, company. Our main activities are uh, environmental management and also civil, electrical and also facility productions, also manpower. We have a vision of bringing B2 to an assistant and also to get people employed. So it has been very hot and also very good because uh, with the help of some of our customers, I think we've been, we'll be home. From inception, the company have made indelible contributions to known and national development. We have quite a number of people that we give employment to in Bitoil and Gas Project Limited. Uh, irrespective of your, your, your status, any place where you come from, we employ from in, throughout, the, throughout the federations. So we give employment. You know, we have it's people that work for us in Lagos, we have in Poracourt, we have in Wari, uh, we have in Abuja. So we have really first, uh, we've given employment to a, a lot of people. So that's number, number one. Number two, also uh, exposing some of our staff that they can get do better and uh, get a good quality job done. So I think it, uh, We've, we've, we've been positively affected oil and gas industry in, in our own way. The mission of this uh, B2 Oil and Gas Project Limited is first to meet the essential of our customers. You know, like our customer knows who we are, that we don't cut corner, we deliver quality, and also give them what they paid for what they get value of what they, they requested for. 
That is our mission. Our, then our vision is to become the best in oil and gas industry. Little wonder, therefore, that B2 Oil and Gas was given the opportunity to showcase their talent. This vision, at first, is to encourage indigenous contractors to become something good in this country. What multinational can do, we, the indigenous contractor, can do better than them if we see encouragement that is coming out from uh, our government. Among the people that we qualified, we are number four. It shows that where we have qualities and we have what it takes to become the, the best in oil and gas industry. So we are achieving it. As a focused and ardent believer in the Nigerian economy, high premium is placed on training. We want our, for our staff to, to be enlightened, so we send them for training. So we give them quality training. And uh, two, like uh, we got a mail of recent from Project 100, uh, for to nominate a staff, an engineer that they want to as uh, trained for two weeks. Already, we've already nominated one of our engineers. So we give uh, allow our our staff a freedom of, opera of of operations. You know, so we don't uh, we don't we don't hold anything. We make we expose our 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 intellectual, our 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 talent. You know, we, we give it our, our we allowed our staff to uh, exploit that. B2 oil and gas ensures that customers get value for their money. We don't cut corners. The reason why you need to do business with B2 oil and gas, we give you quality because we believe in quality and we deliver on time. We don't cut corner. We don't uh, play games. We believe in uh, what. You, uh, what your money good for will give you the value of what you want. So it's very important you do business with oil and gas because we meet your first, we meet your target. Two, we deliver at appropriate schedule time. And uh, three, we give you qualities. When you talk about quality, we give you quality. And in terms of finance, we are capable. For all this indigenous company that are just coming up, believe me, we'll be able to even do better than. Uh, the, the, the multinational that they bring to this country. You see, they spend so much on them. They pay them in dollars. Whereas with the indigenous companies, if you give us the capacity like what you are giving to the multinational, we will do better than them. When they come, they see you the services of, of, our, of, of, of our people. You know, like what I told you, in terms of engineering technology, we are the best in this country if we can well equipped by our, by our government. Given an enabling operating environment, B2 Oil and Gas Project Limited will turn out jobs that will make it a reference point both in Nigeria and internationally. Welcome back. It is very instructive to note that the Nigerian market is one of the most lucrative investment opportunity in the world. So with the plan to develop real capacity of the indigenous service company in the oil and gas industry, there's no doubt that the support from NCDNB will lead to a huge transformation of our economy. To watch our previous episode, visit www.youtube.com forward slash economy today on NTAI. Thank you for always being there for us. I am Zainab Ubitin. Thanks for watching.